welcome back to my channel, The Baking Diva. And I want to say thank you to all my new subscribers. I really appreciate your support. Well, today I'm celebrating St. Patrick's Day just a little bit early. Uh, it's special in our home because the cameraman, my hubby, is Irish. Hi, cameraman. Show it to me good, lassie. <laughs> and my oldest grandson, Jake, was born on St. Patrick's Day. And guess what? He's got a car and he's getting his driver's license. So, stay off the road. That's <laughs> right, cameraman. <laughs> Use all available on-site parking spaces. <laughs> We're only kidding. Good luck, Jake. Um, now you can drive over and gri visit your grandparents in your car. But anyway, um, so I'm doing a collaboration today, which is going to be a lot of fun. And I'm doing it with my good YouTube buddy, Chica. Hi, Chica. And Chica's channel is Borrowed Delights. That's right, Borrowed Delights. I believe she came up with that name because she makes a lot of delightful recipes and she wants all of you to borrow them and share them with your family and friends. So therefore, Borrowed Delights. And I'm going to put a few screenshots on uh, the video for her and her channel, so you can check them out. But Chica hails from Alberta, Canada. And um, she loves to bake, but she's also a wonderful cook. I met her a couple of years ago on YouTube, and at the time, she wasn't really appearing in her videos. She was just more or less um, having the camera focus on what she was doing. But then she started appearing in the videos, and I said, you go, Chica. So we decided to do a collaboration. Chica, her recipes are simple, and they're delicious. Um, she makes everything from sweet treats to savory eats. Um, she does appetizers, breakfasts, dinners, and dessert ideas. I did some type of a, recently a, uh, what was it called, brownie brittle. She's got a fantastic blueberry cheesecake on there. Um, she did chocolate crepes. I want to check those out. I think I might want to make them. What do you think, cameraman? Would you like some chocolate crepes? Sure, millifulture. <laughs> oh, gosh. She makes these great morning glory <laughs> Breakfast muffins, they're very healthy. I love scones, I'm a scone lover. And she does some <laughs> cream scones on there. And, um, oh, she does some vegan, vegan zucchini muffins. Yes, she does. And, uh, oh, for those of you that are watching your weight and trying to eat healthy, she does these delicious chicken lettuce wraps. So, I'm going to go on and I'm going to show you the dessert I'm making for St. Patrick's Day. When this video's over, I want you to head over to see Chica on her channel, Borrowed Delights. I'll put a link to her channel in the description box below. So, what do you say we get started? You ready, cameraman? See. Si. Let's get started. Okay, so today I am going to make for you a chocolate mint Oreo trifle. Mm -hmm. I love trifles. There's so many different kinds you can make and so many different variations. I have to say thank you to my daughter Dawn for this one because she makes it all the time. Every time she goes somewhere, 
Everybody requests that you bring it, so I thought it would be perfect to make for you today. So, without further ado, here we go. The first thing you're going to do is make your pudding, because that's going to be one part of the trifle. So in my cup here, I have four cups of cold milk. I'm also using the Jell-O Instant Pudding Mix. I am happen to use the chocolate fudge. Now you're going to need two boxes of this with the four cups of your cold milk. So I'm going to put my dry pudding mix in with the milk and I'm going to use my whisk and I'm going to whisk it all until it's well combined and then I'm going to put it in the refrigerator to set while I'm making the rest of the ingredients. So let me get both of these envelopes in here. This is not the giant size um, pudding mixes. These are the, let me just see here. These are the 3.9 ounce boxes of the chocolate pudding mix. All right, so I have all of that in there. And I'm gonna take my whisk, my handy dandy whisk. Oh, do you like my hat? My hat and my sweater, here you go, you can see it better. <laughs> I bring it out every year for St. Patrick's Day. So I'm gonna start mixing this. Whoa, baby. Look at it pouring out, and the cameraman is laughing. Is there any videos I'm not gonna have a problem with? Come on, diva. So I'm gonna put this in a larger bowl, and I'm gonna mix it, put it in the refrigerator to set. But while I'm doing that, look at this. I had my larger bowl here, cameraman. I was just going to show my friends my two cups of milk and my pudding. And I was going to mix it in here. I think I'm having a senior moment. Okay. So now I'm going to wipe up the mess I made. <laughs> and I'm going to whisk this. I don't know what I was thinking. And then I say, should I edit it out? And then I say, oh, why not? I always tell you, you can laugh and bake at the same time, right? <laughs> so anyway, I'm gonna mix all this, put it in the fridge to set, but meanwhile, just to let you know, you're also gonna need a trifle bowl for this recipe. You don't know what a trifle bowl is. It has a stem on it. They're usually round like this, and the trifles look beautiful in them. So I'll be right back in a second after I clean up my big mess and I whisk this and get it in the refrigerator. So please don't go away. Okay, so the diva cleaned up her big mess and now we're going on to part two. So while our pudding is setting in the fridge, you're going to need two packages of mint Oreos. I have them here. And the mint Oreos are the ones that have the green cream inside them. Now what we want to do is we want to chop up the Oreos. So I'm going to use my little ninja here and uh, I'm going to put them in there. And if you don't have a ninja, you have a food processor, um, or if you don't have either and you want to put them in a Ziploc bag and go over them with a rolling pin um, to crush them up. But like I said, you don't want to crush them up too fine. You just want nice small pieces. So I'm going to start doing this now. Let's see if I can mess this up. Let me put my ninja top on now. Just going to pulse it a few times until your cookies are just chopped up a little bit. Off camera, I'm going to chop up my two packages of Oreos and then we'll be back next to do part three. Okay, so here's the two packages of the uh, Oreo mint cookies. 
I've chopped them up. Some are fine and some are little chunks, but that's what you want. So I'm gonna put those aside. Next, you're going to buy a package of Andy's Cream de Mint Thin Mints. And here they are here. When you open the package, they're all individually wrapped like this. And then this is what they look like when they're unwrapped. They're like two layers of chocolate with a green cream de mint inside. So take about maybe six of them, put them aside, and then the rest you're going to um, just chop up in small pieces, just like this. Very easy to do. But off camera, I'm going to finish chopping up these Andes cream de mints. Um, and also what you're going to need is two eight ounce containers of Cool Whip. And then I'm going to be back to show you how we assemble this and how fantastic it looks. See you soon. All right, so I have everything assembled and I'm ready to put my trifle together. I have my chopped Oreos. I have my pudding that I took out of the fridge. I have my Cool Whip and I have my Andy's mints that I chopped up. So I'm going to stand up. Cameraman will focus <laughs> on the trifle bowl. And the first thing we're going to do is we're going to put a layer of the cookies in the bottom of the trifle bowl. This is so absolutely delicious. If you want, you can make it the same day, or my daughter has told me that she has also made it the night before um, to serve the next day. You just keep it in your fridge. So let me put some more in. And the trifles look so good because, you know, they have a layered look to them. You can decorate the tops any way you want. Perfect. Get a little more. Is our layer of, do you remember what I said, cameraman? Starts with a P. Pudding. So we're going to put a layer of pudding on top of your Oreos. You're not going to be able to be perfect, but I try to be a little neat and not make one of my diva mistakes while I'm doing this, because then it looks pretty from outside the dish. All right, so we have our layer of cookies, our layer of mm, delicious chocolate pudding. And now I'm going to put in some of my chopped up Andy's mints. You don't have to put a lot of them because I did reserve some of the, um, I reserved some of the uh, bigger ones because I wanted to put them on top. So on top of the pudding, I'm just going to put a few of the chopped up Andy's mints. You don't have to put them. My daughter has told me that at times when she didn't have the mints, she put the little mini chocolate chips in hers. So there we go. Now you're going to put a layer of your Cool Whip in there. Mmm, isn't that looking good? Once I do that, I'm going to repeat another layer on the Cool Whip. Same thing, cookies, pudding, some of the chopped mints, and end it with Cool Whip. So as soon as I'm finished, I'm going to come back and I'm going to show you what this little St. Patrick's Day masterpiece looks like. Look at this beauty. I have all my layers in here. They fit perfectly. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to decorate the top of it a little bit. Some of my mints that I left whole, I'm going to just stick them right on the top here and there. Just for a little pizzazz. <laughs> and there we go. And I'm going to put a few of the um, crushed ones that I have left over. Just a few of those on the top. Oh, is this looking good. Oh my goodness. This makes up for the boo-boo I made earlier, right, cameraman? 
<laughs> no. Look at this. Oh my goodness gracious. Serve this. You'll get a lot of applause, let me tell you. Very nice. And the last thing I'm going to put on there, you don't have to, but I thought I would because I thought it would be fun. I have some little tiny sugar shamrocks. They're very little. I'm just going to sprinkle a few of these on the top. Give it that real St. Patrick's Day look. Oh, yeah. And there we have it. This looks fantastic. Oh. Take a close up and I'll put a few stills in for you. But wow, I'm very proud of myself. <laughs> it looks there you have my delicious looking chocolate mint Oreo cookie trifle. Let me turn it just a little. Can you see the top, cameraman? I surely can. Isn't that a beauty? Beauty. All right. So there you have it. I want to thank all of you for being a part of this video. I want to remind you all, please go over to visit Chica. Tell her the Baking Diva sent you. See what she's making over there. Her link will be down below. And um, I'm having company tomorrow, so this is going in my fridge, and I'm serving it tomorrow. I think everybody's going to love it. Oh, I forgot. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go down below and hit that red subscribe. And the little bell next to it. I think if you hit the bell twice, it goes on save. And then YouTube sends you a notification when I have a new video up. So I hope you enjoyed this. Have a wonderful weekend. Have a happy St. Patrick's Day. And I'll see you all very soon. Toodles!